I think it's time we get started on this one. What do y'all think? This is the Mazda 6. I've been driving the crap out of this car and I haven't done anything to it, nothing at all. In fact, let me show you guys the miles. You guys remember I, I reset the trip odometer when I first got this thing, first started driving it, and we're already at almost 900 miles. When you live in the country, it doesn't take long to run up miles. I mean, a trip to the city can be 50 miles round trip plus whatever driving you do while you're up there. So it goes quick. I've been using this as my little run around car. I use it to run all my errands and uh, she's done great. Uh, still needs a little bit of a tune up. I'm gonna get on that real quick and we're gonna clean up the inside of this also. And I don't know. I think it, we could probably get about 1500 bucks for this thing. It does have high miles, but it runs good and it rides good. So AC, ice cold, everything works. In fact, all the windows are rolling up and down. The sunroof works. She's just dirty. She needs a little bit of cleanup. She does have a cracked windshield, but I might just let this one go cheap, sell it as is. I've already got people asking about it because there are people out there that need this kind of a car something that's cheap something that's around you know 1500 bucks and this car would be perfect you know i mean it would be a score for anybody that just needs an a to b car so we might just go that route with it i don't have anything into this car you know um i did that we did a little bit of bartering with randy from auto auction rebuilds he needed body work done on the cobalt ss knocked it out for him and guess what i got a mazda 6 now really cool um i mean if you want to get technical i might have fifty dollars worth of materials that went into the cobalt i got a car here for 50 bucks y'all and some labor so no big deal uh 1500 dollars, man there'd be some good profit in this one and i just might go that route i don't know i'm, I'm still trying to decide all right so i think it's time we get this thing cleaned up because it is nasty in there now it's nothing compared to that traverse but still pretty dirty you guys see in there you know needs a good vacuuming we'll go over it with our bissel and uh, get all this stuff scrubbed up because I mean look at it. it it's still pretty dirty in here like I said nothing like the traverse not nearly that bad if you guys haven't seen that video go check it out that had to have been one of the dirtiest cars on the planet and it turned out very very nice so this will be nothing compared to that I mean look we got glass in the floor that's from where they busted out the side window here still got to get one of those in there but for now we're just going to clean it up I think we're gonna start out with the shop vac and get it vacuumed out.
All right, so now that the interior is clean, we're gonna shift our attention to this bumper. It's got a pretty bad situation going on there. Um, I've already got it unbolted. I'm gonna just kind of unclip it out of its clip and get in there with some heat and try to push that out. Went ahead and popped that tail light out. Just a little screw behind there and a clip right there. Two bolts hold the tail light in, comes out super easy, but now we could get this to unclip so that we could get in behind there because I gotta push while we heat this up. All right, let's make our first attempt pushing this out. All right, I'm gonna say that area needs a little more heat. That is in there and it's stout. All right, let's try this again. There we go, that's a little better. There we go, now it's coming out. All right, so we'll get a little more heat here and there, push out on those, let it cool for a second, and it should lock it in place. All right, so all I'm doing here, I'm heating up my low spots. Like you'll see one here. I did have one here a second ago. Heating up my low spots, pushing out on it with this from the back side, and then I take my rag and I just kind of rub, let the rag absorb the heat, and after a few seconds, it'll it'll lock it in place. You can also take an air hose and maybe blow air on it if you want. Just any way to cool the area while you're still pushing out on it, and it'll lock it in place. All right, so that looks 100 times better than it did. We're not getting super carried away on this one. We just wanted to pop that out because it looked terrible. This is going to be a more of a quick flip, you guys. We're going to knock this one out really fast. We're not going to get all carried away. Um, the interior looks great. The body, on the other hand, it does have some, some flaws here and there. It's, but we could fix some of it, like the bumper. We'll get this all clicked back on, and then we'll come over here, and we'll do little things like that. See where the trim's popping off? We'll get that popped back on. The grill in the front is coming loose too, so I wanna get in there and pop that back on. We don't want any loose pieces or anything like that. So we just wanna get it a little more presentable, get it cleaned up. I think this thing hasn't had a bath in God only knows when. And uh, if everything goes well, I mean, there shouldn't be any reason why we couldn't get probably about 1500 bucks for this car. And I have almost nothing into it, so it'll be mostly profit on this one and we need this we need a quick flip most of you guys know that's following the channel know that the traverse took a long time it's a very very involved project and uh, we need something out the door fast so we're, do we're just going to flip this one really fast just get it turned around and get it out the door all right let's get this bumper clicked back in here look at that that clicked in perfectly now that all the tension has been relieved, the stress of having that all that being pushed in so bad, it relaxed it enough to allow it to clip right back into its clip. We didn't even have to buy a, buy a new bumper clip or anything. So I'm gonna get that tail light popped in and uh, we're gonna move on to something else. All right, tail lights in. I cleaned up the trunk pad. I think it turned out pretty nice actually. Let's get that all back up in there. Tell you what, they don't look half bad. Once we get in there, wash up the outside, we'll clean up this jams. Is that not the dirtiest jam you ever seen in your life? Went ahead and replaced the tag lights. Had one burned out. And I uh, thought while I was in there, I would go ahead and, and put some clips to hold this up because this was all hanging down. And the little handle was just floating around in the trunk floor. So I got it clipped back in there. And we're gonna shut this down for now and move on to some more trim pieces. And like I said, when we wash the outside, we'll get in there and do the jams then. For now, I wanna focus on this trim piece that's coming off. Check this out. Looks like the clips have popped out. 
Shouldn't be too hard to get in there with my trim tool, get these back out, put them back in their little slots, and then clip it back on. That's going to be an easy fix. All right, so the trick to doing this is to pull this out just far enough that you could get the clip out without popping another clip off, off you know, down the line somewhere. So we'll be careful not to, uh, not to pull this out too far. Now, the way I do is I get one side pulled out, and I try to spin it around without letting it pop back down in there. Get my finger on this side so that it doesn't pop back in the hole, and then come back from this side get up under it and there we go managed to get it out without breaking any of the, the tabs off so now we can actually reuse this clip and all we got to do is just get in here and again don't pull this out too far or you'll just end up going on down the line having to get get some more clips back in but just like that it's back in a slot we'll go over here we'll do this one and then we can snap this thing back on all right so here's our next issue this is the grill on the front bumper it's popped out of the hole it looks like all the tabs are broken off. We do have some tabs down at the bottom still. I was going to try to see if we could clip those in there. I don't know. It's not looking good. We may may need to pull the bumper off. I'm going to try to avoid that if I can. So like I said, we're just trying to, trying to make it look a little better. I've got this hook. I think I could kind of get in behind here because this grill hooks in from the back side. It doesn't go in from the front. So... The only way to really do this right is to pull the bumper off and clip it in correctly, but we're going to try to avoid pulling the bumper off and just do it this way. Alright, so that's starting to clip in now, at least across the bottom anyway. There we go. Yeah, we're getting some clips in. There we go. Alright, we'll just keep working our way down the line until we get it all the way back in there. actually cl clipping in pretty easy I just don't think there's much we can do across the top all those clips are broken I guess they they must have bumped this into something but at least we got it all clipped in back in at the bottom as long as we don't bump it in anything it, sh it should be enough to hold that in there but it does look a lot better now having that back in where it goes all right, so that pretty much takes care of everything I wanted to do on the body of this car, with the exception of this window. We still need to get out to the salvage yard, find that window, get it replaced. And then after that, we will start cleaning up the outside of this. We're going to give it a good scrub down and probably run over it with the buffer. All right, we're just going to use just a foam pad here and some of this uh, fine cut cleaner from... Meguiar's this stuff works very well and it's it's really fine. It's not going to leave swirls In fact, this will kind of remove swirls and uh, all we're doing We're not we're not going to get in there and try to get rid of all the little scratches or any of that We just want the haze gone and this will take it off pretty quick And I'm moving on to the exhaust leak and I believe it to be leaking in this area here so I got it all ready to come off let's see what we end up with there we go all right let's get this down here where we can work on it first thing is I want this old junky shield gone all right 
that's definitely that's definitely our leak. I mean, look at this. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see this. Good. Well, that's that's obviously our leak. There's no doubt about that. So, let's see what we can do to fix that. All right. So what I've done here is I went ahead and reinstalled the exhaust. Everything is in. It's bolted. And so now I could come in here. This is my joint right here. This is where my weld's gonna be. I'm gonna come in and get me some really good tack welds on here. And then I'll come in and I'll drop this all back down into the floor like it was just a second ago. Weld all the way around it. And then install it for a final time and no more exhaust leak. Woo. All right, so we should be able to get in here, zip on around that. Get that welded up. I'll put it back up in there and weld the bottom side and we'll be done with it. All right, so we got it all welded up. That ought to do pretty good. I think between that and removing the old uh, heat shields that were all rattling around that were all messed up will uh, be a great improvement. So we're gonna cruise into town, get some cheap tires put on the uh, Mazda right quick. on there mounted and balanced she's good to go let's get on out of here we need to get down to the salvage yard and get that uh that window I'm tired of riding around with a broken window all right so we just took delivery of the auto auction rebuilds 06 ford taurus um she's not too bad of shape the outside of it's kind of beat up a little bit i think grandma was banging it up against the garage door pulling it in and out is what it looks like but the interior is in great shape very good interior got a little newspaper down there it's kind of muddy out here i'm trying to keep it as clean as i can this one came down here very nice very clean want to keep it that way headliner's good the back seat everything's all good man this is really good shape but when you look at the outside of it you'll see although the paint does look good it's got some pretty good dents on it here and there the one there pretty much every panel on this car just about has a dent in it going down both sides i mean that's a big one there this door wow look at that door man that mirror was broken off randy put a new one on it and all of this looks like something where you know grandma was just trying to get in and out of the garage so who knows but anyway i had a customer just now come down and look at this thing and i was unaware that the floorboard is wet so that was a nice little surprise um I'll show you guys here. Even though this door is all dented in pretty bad, it still works just fine. And everything on this car works, in fact. There is nothing on this car that doesn't work. But you can see, floor is wet. We had torrential downpour last night, and um, that's why we came out to this morning, so... Nobody knew it was like that. We just kind of found out, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we had to find out from the customer. Not cool, but whatever. Anyway, they uh, they say they still want it. They just wanted me to kind of check it out, see what I think the leak is, which I think is uh, the cowling, probably full of leaves or something. That's kind of a common problem we run into a lot around here <clears throat> on these used cars. And so I popped the cowling off, and looky there. That is most definitely clogged up. So I'm gonna get the vacuum out. We're gonna get all that out of there. And uh, by the time they get back, there'll be no more leak. 
All right, so I got the shop vac set up. Let's get that cleaned out of there. All right, so there it is. Got it all cleaned out. I pulled the cabin air filter out, blew it out with the air compressor. I'm gonna spray some nice Febreze on it. Just kind of hose it down with some Febreze so it'll smell nice and good. And like I said, customer's totally aware of this. I just sent them a picture of what the problem was and told them that it'll be vacuumed out and I'll be sure to take a picture of it after it's vacuumed out and show them that I took care of the issue and uh, they'll be pleased. All right, let's get this all back on here. This goes on pretty easy. You didn't even have to take the windshield wiper out or anything on it, so that's cool. Slip that right in underneath there. It's like so. We definitely don't want to forget to vacuum the water out while we're at it. Alrighty, so the customer just texted me, said they are on their way back with the money. I went ahead and pulled it on out here, gave it a quick rinse. She's good to go. Let's get on up there. Let's get this thing sold. All right, so there it goes, y'all. That Taurus is out of here. They did come back and get it after all. That's really cool. Turned out to be a pretty good flip. Quick, easy flip. She went really fast. I posted it last night at about one o'clock in the morning and I woke up this morning about 15 different messages and they were the first one to come out here and get it. So it's out of here. All right, so that was a pretty quick, easy flip. Kind of like it when it goes that way. Um, 1600 is what we got on that one, which I think was pretty good for a beat up Taurus. Uh, it did have low miles really low miles for an 06 to have 77,000 miles it's kind of unheard of but the body on it was pretty rough i mean that passenger side door was pushed in pretty good so anyway all righty so i got my car selling shirt on so that can only mean one thing right we got somebody on the way they're going to come out and look at this traverse cross your fingers man hopefully they buy this thing because we're having some issues with it after all that work we did this thing runs like crap i don't know what I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it. It just does not run good. It has those random misfires that we had talked about in previous video. Coil packs didn't fix it. New spark plugs didn't fix it. I don't know. Clogged injector. I don't know. Maybe it's the maybe it's the timing. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't have all that fancy scan equipment and blah blah blah. So I, you know, we're just, we're going to let it go as is and we'll just price it accordingly. I've got somebody on the way and I, I told him up front, listen, it runs rough. It still drives fine. I mean, we, I've been driving it around, no problem, but it idles rough. That's its only issue. And why? I, I honestly do not know. I don't know if it's fuel related. I don't know if it's timing related. I don't know if it's just wore out and needs to be replaced. We all know about the 3.6 motor. They're not good. They don't have a very good reputation. You know, they, they have timing chain issues. So I don't know. Uh, but it's going as is. It's going cheap. I'm not going to make any money on it, y'all. I'm spoiler alert. I'm not going to make no money on this one. So. But I, I got to get it down the line. It's got to go. It's it, I cannot keep sitting on this one. This turned out to be my biggest project. Way too much time went into this car. And the longer I sit on it, the worse it gets. So we just got to get it on out of here. Consistency is key. I don't know if I told you guys this before, but you got to be consistent when you're dealing with this stuff. You cannot just sit around on a car. Uh, it's not going to help you in any way. So the longer we keep it at this point, the worse it gets. We don't, you know, we got to, we got to get a return on our investment. Even though we're not going to make any money, we'll still get enough out of it to move on to the next car and hopefully better luck next time. So I'm sure you guys can hear that. That's what I'm talking about. She's a 
rough runner, man. Not sure why, but anyway, I was very honest in my ad. Uh, the customer knows exactly what they're coming to look at. That's why there's no surprises. I don't like the idea of somebody driving all the way down here thinking they're looking at something that they're not. So they know exactly what they're getting themselves into. They say no problem, they can fix it. So whatever, let's see what they think when they get here. All right, so that looks much better. Let's get to the customer. All right, y'all, there goes the Traverse. <laughs> A little off-roading on the way out, but that's all right, whatever. All right, there she goes on her way to her new home. Thank God. All right, so it may appear that we're doing the, the walk of fame, but this is really more like the walk of lame. We lost our ass on that one, you guys. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm going to tell you the truth. We didn't make any money on that. All that work. My biggest flip, my most involved flip, most expensive flip. I, I put like 500 bucks into that thing, and I, I broke even. That's all I got, man. I broke even, and I was lucky to do that. That was like pulling teeth. And all that work just to break even ridiculous man ridiculous but i told y'all you know from the very beginning that we would show y'all ups and downs ins and outs good bad to ugly and here you go we lost i mean basically all that time i put a lot of time into that thing i mean you've seen it if you guys didn't see the videos go back and watch the video series on the traverse i put together a playlist and very very involved a lot of work went into that thing and i, I lost <laughs> i didn't i didn't get paid on any of it so it happens it, it happens um what do you do you know uh, i showed the car several times to several different people nobody wanted it i mean they wouldn't even make offers on it they were so turned off by the way it was running and i'll admit it it was running pretty bad you you seen it i mean it's terrible I don't know what's wrong with it and I'm not spending another minute on that thing trying to figure it out done you know you got to cut your losses at some point can't keep going um, and, you know consistency is key I've said it before I'll say it again if there's anything I learned from this is consistency is key you've got to get the ball rolling you've got to get momentum and you've got to keep it going you can't be messing around can't be messing around on these flips man and we took too much time on that spent too much money on it but I don't know, man. Y'all leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think. Because I didn't see any other way to get out of that deal. No one was going to buy it the way it was. I mean, it looked like a dumpster inside. You, you guys seen it. I mean, if you, if you didn't see it, go back and watch it, man. I've seen cleaner dumpsters. It was horrible. Ridiculous. I, I'm just going to go out there and say, man, I think that was the dirtiest damn traverse on the planet. I mean, it was bad. But anyway it's out of here i'm glad it's gone i'm so glad it's gone that that car shook me i'm not gonna lie you know you, any of you guys have been following along you know i haven't been doing this a long time i'm still learning and that one that one shook me man you know i i'm i learned a lesson i am going to look at these cars a little better i'm not just gonna float around and just be bidding on stuff willy-nilly we're not we're not doing that we need some good flips we need to get back in there you guys seen some of my flips man they've been going really well up until this one and so we need to get back on track and uh we're just, just going to get moving we're just going to move right on past this and just keep going but for now you know we still got the mazda 6 we're going to finish cleaning that thing up it's it's coming along great I'm, I'm very impressed with that old car um she's got some hail damage but other than that she's actually she's shining up really good that's going to make somebody some good a to b transportation for sure and it's going to go cheap i figure probably around 1800 bucks is what i'm going to ask for that one uh, it does have high mileage, but she's doing fine. And I've probably put a good 2,000 miles on that car since I've had it. I've been using it as my daily driver, running all my errands in it. And it's, she's done great. I haven't had a single issue out of it. So um, I think 2,000 miles is enough to evaluate whether or not a car is good or not. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, that one's good. So out of here it's going to go about 1800 bucks we're going to finish cleaning up on it you guys be sure to stay tuned on the next video and we'll show you how that thing turned out uh, and i think you'll be impressed i mean I, i'm impressed I, I think it's a great car but for now we're going to get out of here i hate to leave you guys on such a sour note 
But I mean, what do you do? You know, you win some, you lose some. That's how it goes. So anyway, we're gonna move on. We're gonna keep our head up. But I mean, that's all you could do in the end anyway. So anyway, I'm out of here. Please like, share, subscribe. I appreciate all of you guys watching as usual. Uh, don't forget my kids channel. You know, I'll leave all their links in the description. They're wrenching on their rides as well. And they're coming along on those projects pretty good. So you, you don't want to miss that. If you want to see some kids out there working on their stuff, figuring stuff out, learning, all that good stuff, go check them out. You don't want to miss it. Links in the description. Uh, don't forget my Instagram. There'll be a link in the description for that as well. Hit me up on Facebook as well. I'm having a little trouble with my Facebook. For some reason, it's not letting me accept friend requests. But hey, eventually we'll figure that out. I don't know. Shoot, I don't know what's going on with it. But still, send me a friend request. Weird beard. I'll, I'll answer it eventually. Whenever we get figured out what's going on. But anyway, for now, I'm out of here. Appreciate all y'all watching. I'll see you later.